Guys, gals, non-binary pals, I have with me today a special guest. The specialist guest. It's famous YouTuber Justin MacArthur of Neptune Today. What? I, I for one, am shocked <laughs> that uh, I am still alive and breathing and kicking and powerful enough to uh, to stream. I'm very, uh, very tired. Yep, but I've, yep, uh, yep. I've uh, had such a good time of it these past couple of weeks. And, um, yeah, and you guys are uh, all affiliated and verified yeah yeah and yeah 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 so ticks and yeah celebrations big big news all around um so welcome to sci-fi ai guy plays it's me it's justin uh we are playing fez um what an exciting screen um for what might be the last time i think we looked at the how long to beat website last time we it, played it and was, it seemed like we're close we, we have made a shocking amount of progress it yeah. seemed um shocking yeah. is right i it it feels like it, this could be Act 1, comfortably. Yeah, but we looked at it and it's... Yeah, it seems not to have much more game left. We will yeah. see, I guess. I, I, I guess I didn't look at levels. I, I didn't yeah. appraise it. So it's possible I'm wrong, but I, as I keep saying, Fez is a very good game that I keep thinking we should move on from, but then every time I play it, I'm like, oh, wow, there's new stuff. Like It's this weird mix of I get it and I'm okay leaving it, but then when I taste it, it's like, I guess, you know, say sweet and salty popcorn. Okay. You know, I don't need it all the time, and I, I don't go out of my way to obtain it, but if you put some in front of me, I could eat forever. Because I just, I keep need, the, I, I need that little that little tingle on the tongue, right? It is, it is nourishing enough. I think it speaks to the quality of it that it is mm. able to be, you're like, I've got my fill. Yeah, I can walk away from it now, and I feel like I understand what Fez is. Yeah, and yeah. the next time we come back, we get a completely not a completely different experience, mm. but but a just a slightly different experience, I guess, um, that just gives us that little bit more. Yeah, I I mean I I don't eat a lot of different um, candies anymore, but imagine if every time you opened a packet of Skittles, there was a new flavor in there. Which is a non lolly analogy for me. <laughs> oh. Okay, so um, for those who don't know, um, I mean, we'll go over my big news first because it's really quick and I've mentioned it already. Um, Twitch affiliate. The channel hit Twitch affiliate a week or two ago because we streamed a bunch. We went over that line. It's true. So in future, uh, we're going to have an emote. Uh, there'll be a sub badge. More art will be commissioned. You've got a um, first subscriber, I saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see if we can get a first unsubscriber. <laughs> Won't take long, I'm sure. Um, I'm back, so it won't yeah. take long. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the big news uh, for, for me and for the channel proper. Uh, but Justin here has had the busiest fortnight imaginable. Uh, it's been quite long. Um, it has been one of the longest kind of sustained stints of creative work, certainly, that I've had um, throughout most of my professional life. Mm. Uh, yeah, I've, I've had um, pretty much 11 days, I was saying before, roughly, give or take, of, of straight video editing um, for my YouTube series, Terrible Lizards. Check it out. Uh, which is available um, in a number of different avenues. Um, tiny.cc slash Terrible Lizards is the easiest, the easiest link. And that just takes you to the playlist? It takes you to the playlist. Nice. That's nice. just all, all five episodes we've got up there. Make sure to... Um... We'll, we'll talk after, but I'll put it in there. It'll it'll be if you're watching this on YouTube, especially, it's down below. It's the link is down below. It'll be there. Yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah. Or we can even if it's on YouTube, you can add a card and you could straight up link it in the top corner of the video. We'll talk. Yeah. Um, yeah. But um. So it's presumably th there there right now. Um. <laughs> but uh. Yeah. It's been uh fantastic. The response has been amazing. Um. The first video got a hundred views in the first day. Um, it was up, which is just incredible. Um, I am, yeah, really shocked by that. Um, and, you know, thankful. Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Blessed no, no, and well done. The rest of well it. done, yeah. Um, but, yeah, um, so it is a web series about uh, mixed lollies um, and dinosaurs mm -hmm. um, solving the age-old and critical burning question um, that has, I'm sure, it strikes to the core of what is wrong with this year, mm -hmm. Um the, the one thing we've had a problem with this year, mm -hmm. uh, which is the fact that the lollies in a standard pack of mixed lollies, a party mix, is mm -hmm. not, mm -hmm. um, they're not to scale with their real world counterparts. No, no they are not. And so I attempt to make a very, very large brontosaurus lolly, and attempt is the operative word. 
Were you in any way inspired by, and this possible, this name isn't even current anymore, I wouldn't know, I haven't heard it in a long time, but Australian comedian Greg Fleet? I'm familiar with Greg Fleet, but mm-hmm. not with doing this style of comedy. So what, what did he do with that he, sort of thing? He had a prolonged tirade. I think it, I mean, it was televised, because I've seen him live a bunch, but um, this was a televised thing, and it was him reading an open letter he had written to Arnott's about their barbecue shapes and how they don't taste like anything that is barbecued. So he describes the process of eating a barbecue in an attempt to find the flavour of barbecue shapes. Um, I, if I recall, it's pretty good. I really enjoy that. This It, it is a similar sort of premise uh, in that we take this as an opportunity to look into the process of lolly manufacture, Mm -hmm. um, Mm -hmm. the kind of what a realistic brontosaurus looks like versus what you can stamp out in a factory, Mm -hmm. um, and a whole bunch of... Yeah, well, it's it's literally... uh, That's one of the reasons that they have no um, uh, concave or convex uh, points. On a lolly, it's all it's all flat. It's it's literally what you could make an impression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah, yeah. Whereas oh. we try and do more than that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Look, it's, let's, it's a let's good not series. spoil anything. Go go watch it because it's good. I great yes, fun. I have great fun. I have made it, and I'm saying it's good. Um, and I I wouldn't necessarily say that about my own <laughs> stuff all yep, that often. Yep. So um, yeah, I stand by it. It's yeah, cool, yeah. and other people have said so also. So I can believe them. Yeah, I am. Um, um, I, I look forward to... I mean, obviously, don't expect you to do something like this in particular again, but yeah. I look forward to the next <clears throat> thing. Like, I Yeah, I feel yeah. like I'm going to... I've I've had people message me with actual pictures for, like, the next this. Oh, um, yeah. Th- there are some ideas that are actually, like... Yeah, that, that are of a similar nature. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to figure out if the next thing I do should be, like too similar to this or should be completely left field or yeah still have very i'm still kind of processing the fact that i actually got it done <laughs> um, yeah which is as shocking to me as it was to everyone else my my instincts the, the sort of thing i would want to do would be to do something that is left field but has a clear link to the first thing yeah so that it shows that your channel and what you're doing has a premise that is consistent but you're not just the lolly guy I feel like, yeah, I, I want it to be, um, I want it to have some congruity. I think the next thing I do will also be accessible to kids, for example. Yeah, like yeah. Like, that, that's the thing I really liked about this yeah. series. It's not true of a, a lot of the things I've made. Yeah. My, my podcast is not um, kid-friendly. Um, I don't know that they would get it or find much in it, Frank. I mean, yeah. I think above a certain age, like, I can see, like, an 11-year-old nerd enjoying the bits about, you know, software or, like, in- yeah, you know, yeah. that sort of stuff, but maybe. But that's not the intended audience, yeah, whereas yeah. this is, um, like, this could be used as a classroom resource. Well, you've had um, minimum one teacher ask you if, if it is if true. stuff could be I, used. So, I have yeah, had that happen, yeah, so minimum I'm, one. I'm very happy about that, um, and I will be uh, developing that, and that will be fun. I, but I for the meantime... In the meantime, yeah, let's... Um, cubes... Let's play a game. Let's discover that, um, that dimension. Um, I'm going to crack open a drink. <sighs> yeah, do it. Let me, let me try I enjoyed that camera. there was Foley on stream Cam- when I wasn't on Cam- stream. Yeah, it's just become the term. Um, I'm trying to figure out what what's the best for audio. That was fairly crisp. I had a, a, a shared friend um, ask uh, oh. whether this mic picks up a lot of table noise, like keyboard and mouse noise, and... I didn't have an answer for him because we're on camera, so mm. the sound of us doing things makes sense. So my brain didn't check to see if how audible those like they weren't missing. Yeah. Otherwise, I would notice, but I I wasn't paying attention to the levels because you know, I mean, no one in chat has said anything, so I guess we're fine. If anyone wants a um, mid tier citrus ale, <laughs> I heartily recommend this one. Yeah, it's fine. Um, well, that that this this was gift beer. Um, it's also Justin um, helped me buy some incredible shirts. Not this one. This one I've had for years and is um all ratty and tatty. It's a good shirt. It's uh the froth is not making it very drinkable through a straw. <laughs> yeah, I I was see oh yeah. Mm. Like pearls of froth. Not ideal. Alright, well let's You'd think I'd know something about how to address that being a sciencey adjacent person a scientist no. now i now we were about to go into the door we haven't gone into is that right 
Which we would, I guess, just standing in front of? Yes, that's the one that we don't have a preview of. There we go, yeah, so it's this one. Okay, so let's do a quick mental recap of... Sure. Because it was weeks ago. Was it a yeah, month? Has, uh, I believe at least three weeks, possibly yeah, a month. Min- yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, I mean, you were the one piloting, so sure. you, you might have more insight, certainly <clears throat> into the mechanics that you uncovered, because I feel like we uncovered one or two more things. There were one or two, but I think they were honestly... Um, relatively uh, like similar to mechanics we've experienced there was excuse me there was uh, rotating a platform by pushing a yep. uh, lever which is just going up to it and pressing an arrow and X at the same time I believe there was a, um, a sewer level with it with its there own were, visual aesthetic yeah, they, they which was had, interesting so that was raising the water level yeah but that works the same way as the platforms yep and then there was um, raising and lowering platforms, but that's literally just like in Mario. So. Yeah. I, um, we did a stream, um, multiplayer stream, that um, uh, it was so janky I didn't put it on YouTube. Yeah. So it has not been archived, but um, I was using the controller then, and I found that like I was just having controller problems. Right. In right. a single player experience, it's not too bad, but like there was just enough of a lag in the multiplayer that like, I got really mad at this thing. So at some point I might replace this with a um, uh, PS4 controller. Sure. Direct plug sure, that sure. In. But tonight this should be fine because it was fine last time. I mean, yeah. Let's let's find out what the plot is. Yeah. So well, basically we we give us a little more volume. We we went around a bunch of mini games. I think. I might just leave it. Whereas this is, oh, not that. This is another world. It's, it's another town. These and look at the headdresses. Like they appear to have the same sort of markings on, like it. That's fun. Like, stylistically, it reminds me of the abandoned places that we've seen. Oh, is that a shop front? Yeah, I I think our little... So... Interesting. Have they... Were they pushed... Were they pushed back behind this door? Were they locked... Were we locked away? There's been a separation of two peoples by doors that can only be opened by superpowers. And I'm just... I'm very curious what this means. Maybe um, they could come through at any time, but we can't. Oh, that, that would be fucking hilarious. Um, they just don't like us, because we suck. I think we can press A to talk to people. Uh, B, B to is talk to people. I'm glad I checked, because I would have... I mean, it's not like I can punch anybody. Um, oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah! Oh, I love it. It is language. Yep. Uh, less music is being requested in the chat. Ah, of course. Um... I didn't just do it in here. Um, although I feel like it's already pretty low in here. Music down a little. Cool. Still pleasant. Yeah, this this seems fine. Oh. And the, and the sort of typewriter sound of talking. Yeah. Are you looking to see if there's a through line? Yeah, yeah. I just like the the shapes of them, kind of seem like letters, but it's difficult to. Wow. Very interesting. Oh, I can. <laughs> I don't need to do any of that. Um. So at some point, I feel like learning this language would be valuable, but I don't know if that's where we're going. Yeah, don't, I no idea if that's even on the card. We can right? drop down right to get to that. I, I intend to, yeah, if it will permit me. Great. Oh, that's that's all right. Good eye. He's saying, please stop taking our cubes. Yeah. You are a cube criminal. You monster. Wow. I did not expect that to work, but I appreciate that it did. A hard same. <laughs> uh, hmm. I don't know that my high jump is high enough to. Oh, it was no problem at all. Uh, okay, so this is um, theoretically possible. Yeah. Then rotating. To get yeah. Them. One more. Is that? Yeah. No. Yeah, that's enough. So these are presumably all going to give us the same business, which is fine. I want to talk to this. Oh, there's a fez. Fezman. It's old. It's old us. 
These are us in the future. I. It's the last generation. Because mm. we were the next person to wear the fez, right? That's so, true, yeah. Imagine a world where two people are separated by strange forces they don't control, but every generation they just send another one over. Huh. You put on the fez and you head over and... I mean, it's possible you have more powers when you get here. Ooh. Okay, that's substantial. <laughs> it's yet another door. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The ending? Perhaps? Is that another door? Yeah, let's um just walk into somebody's house. We belong here. We've done that enough What time. the shit? It's the, um, it's the cube owl. Oh my god, and it... F because it's an owl! Some Mona Lisa shit. Um, can we jump on top of the owl? I like how it... Are the hands... No, no, no. Of course, of course it follows you around the room. It's an owl. That will never- this will never get old, by the way. You should, um, try opening the owl. I- Okay, I hate this. See their effigy. <laughs> Fun. Okay, so is this the actual point of the game? Yeah, it's a cult. It's another cult game. Cool. Every time. Hey, another door. Sick. Sirk? Thought you could hide that door from me, game. Can we go behind the throne? We can fall asleep on it. I like that it has a tiny tetromino on the top. Mm. That's cute. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Alright, no, we have things to do. The straw is really not working, so I'm going to remove the straw. Yeah, it appears to be um, too energetic a beer. Mm. To be contained in Too one of your vivacious. Oh, for fuck's sake. See, we can't... There's no door behind the throne. I didn't... See one. That's okay. I forgive this room for not... For, for that oversight. Um, we got the door down there. There's a door just here. Oh, nice. Oh, hang on, I think we did that one. Uh, no, because doors that you have open stay open, I think. Oh, that's right. I wasn't even pointing to that door. I was actually pointing oh. to another door. But let's do it. So we did that door. Now we're We've going done to... that door. We've done that door, so now we do... I was thinking... Oh there's... my god, I wasn't watching me, I was watching the map. So there's one there. Yep. So we'll hit this one. Now that we've got these people here in this language we don't understand... I'm more okay with there not being an explanation at the end, if that makes sense. Right. Because this gestures to a complete picture that we don't get all of from the outside, right? Yeah. This this fills it out enough that I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Oh, I'm not going to get answers? That's fine. The world still feels complete. Yeah. And sometimes a lack of answers means a, a lack of anything behind the curtain. I'll pay that. So I thought there was another door behind the market here, but I think I must have just been looking in the wrong spot. That's alright. Imagine living here. Oh, what's that on the... Is this one, two, three, four? That definitely looks like counting, hey. Yeah. In fact, that that's like a pig pen code. Those are, those are like dimensions, right? One dimension is a dot, two dimensions is a line, three dimensions is a... Oh, sorry. Sorry, zero dimensions is a dot, one dimension is a line, two dimensions is a square, yeah. three dimensions is a cube. It's um, uh, it's programming language, so it starts at zero. Hmm. Hmm. Very cool. So that that, that could be yeah. Gosh, if I had enough time to sit down with this... Yeah. I mean, that, that is a cube, right? That is a map. Yeah. So, oh, that's how to assemble a die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you've on. got all the... You've got it all laid out. Can, Can we you... look at the numbers for a second? Yeah. Oh. Because if we know the numbers, mm -hmm. and we know that that's a die, mm -hmm. then we can infer from these numbers the numbers that would be on the obverse side of the die. 
So we've got zero, <coughs> a one, one would match two, with a six. three. Okay. Uh, so one. Oh. So one is the one that's a, a yeah, pointing yeah, down. Yeah, because it goes right? one, then it goes two, then it goes three. Yeah. So the one opposite mm -hmm. that, which is the the kind of um, uh, T shape with the stem pointing to the right. The so, third, the third one in the middle row. Third one in the it has to be a six. Okay. So I'll point to it on the screen. Yep. I think that's a one and that's a six. You think that's a six? Okay. Because it's the opposite side to the one, right? Yeah. Okay. And so then this would be the three, and that would be a. It, but that's not a three because that's a um that's the opposite, right? Oh. Three goes that way. Oh. And actually. These would not represent differently on a dice. This is a bad numbering system. It might not be a numbering system. But if it is, it's bad. Um, also, something else that could be... Oh, I, I think it might just be um, showing that the paper is worn, but the little dots on the side mm. of those rectangles... Yeah, I see. They, yeah. they could just be chunks or tears, but there's if that's part of it, I, would, I'm gonna, I don't think it is part of it. Oh, so this is addition. That's those two things equal. Those three things oh. equal this thing. So if we really wanted to figure out the number system, we could do some differential equations here. What's frustrating about this addition system is that um, we, the first one works visually completely in that if you just combine the lines, you get the cross. Yeah. But then the second and third uh, equations have crossover. Uh, oh no! Hang on. Uh, second one doesn't. The third one does. Yeah. 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 Which maybe is trying to teach us something. I don't know. And then you've got this. I feel fucker. like the total at the bottom is eight, but I don't know. Yeah, it, it, like I don't. I, I'm not good at um this sort of like what base x is this, right? Like. Oh, I think those were zero one two four. Not zero one two three. How do you fit it? Because of the. Because I think it's doing binary stuff with i'm not my brain is not together enough to, to, oh, look, to do this. We, we don't um, have to solve it i i think i i think i get some of what it's doing but i also do not know there's some stuff that is very mathsy that i'm very keen on what's important is that we rob them it belongs to us da -da 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 theft. without this how would we get into people's Oh, no, hang on. We just get into people's homes. We're just allowed to do that. Yeah, but sometimes they don't want us in their homes. They put locks on them. And that's why we need to steal this key from their town <laughs> to break into other parts of their town. Yep. Now we're adventurers. But where are the pots for us to break? I don't like that the waterfall is coming out of a dude's mouth. Yeah, that, that's a common um, problem in these um, strange places. Alright, so... I'm going to check the map. I feel like there's some secret rooms. There's some secrets in the rooms we're in. So I reckon if you rotate the map, that'll make it easier. Yeah. Um. So there. So question mark is secret. Question mark is a secret. So if you can rotate again, just to make sure. Yep. So that secret is is in the main area. Yeah. Is a secret. Yeah. Um. In all of the side rooms we've been to, we've fully cleared them, so yep. there weren't like secret doors and stuff, which I was looking for throughout. Yeah. But there well, appears to be another room that you can get to from here. Well, is that just the one that's the big door with all of the cubes on it? No, there's a couple of links. Um, we've done everything except we need to go down. That's the next big area, right? Right, but I think that's behind the door. Oh. That needs the 32 cubes. Motherfucker. Okay, well, here's all the um, backtracking. Unless that's a further door. Shivers. Shit butts. Don't love that. Again, if you want something for kids, check out my other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I swear, um, and I got to tell you, you know, as, as do I, just not on that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shit butts is a fantastic phrase. It's it'll do, it'll do. Fantastic, just, just, just Neptune approved. Just fall down. Oh, well, those are like numbers in the windows as well. There's like a little window oh, inside no. the window, so you could potentially. Uh, I think it. I think they're on all the windows. Oh no, no, it's different there. I mean, it's but the same. Ones are different it, it's just yeah, swapped over. Um, God, this is fascinating. It's very interesting. Yeah, 
I feel like if I sat down with it for a while, like, oh wow, I can't, I'm, I'm actually going behind this stuff, there's no way around it. It is not assumed in front of. That's oh no, no, there it is. Front. Interesting. How so odd. I, I think this game is like tracking dimensions in its own way yeah. that we can't always see. Ooh, we're on top. I didn't realise you could get on top of those. Yeah, I, I, um... Can you, like, jump up from there? Um, yeah. So, do we want to see if, like, maybe the secret is going to be from... A cube inside, yeah. No, it's so what, what, what sort of things have secrets been before? Have they been cubes? Have they been, like, new rooms? I think they've been... Yeah, I think they've been extra cubes and stuff. I can't remember, though. It's been a little while. I think... I Look, I, I'm, I'm more interested in, um, unfortunately... Okay, well, no, before I leave here, we need a game plan, right? Because uh, we are a ways away from enough so cubes. So we're, we're in swapper territory, right? Where we need to get enough cubes to yeah, and that's, get more. I don't, I don't love that. Um, I can't remember what the button is for... Um, I'm just going to go to the uh, controls again. Uh, bring up our inventory. Why? Mm -hmm. okay. 13 cube shards. Right. Uh, treasure maps, which to this... Uh, uh, don't know yet. Unsure. We could probably mm. find... We would need to find these spaces and then check. Like, this is how we get secrets, I guess, right? Yeah, I think so. I think that what that... At the very least, what the second one there indicates to me is that there is a platform mm. that is not visible Ooh. that we have to jump to. Yeah, Mario. It's, it's just like... Um, Mario. Leap of Faith mm. sort of the situation. The penitent. penitent man will pass. Precisely. Um, this I don't know. I think maybe there'll be a maze of doors. Mm -hmm. And we won't know what door to go into because there's just so many of them. And that will indicate where to go. And that, that's um, a number. That is also, yeah, that's a two, isn't it? By the number system we just said. Yeah, if we if we take it from, you know, if we're meant to be reading it uh, left to right, ascending. Yes. Interesting. I, th I think that's a number two, um, which is interesting. I, like, I do find it, yeah. Um, Whoa. Okay, well, um, so we've got 13 and we need, like, 32 or something. We're, like, um, halfway. I think we've got more because we've got anti-cubes as well. I, Can we look I, at our inventory? Yeah. Yeah, so we have 13 full cubes and then we have three full anti-cubes. That's just not looking at the left. Yeah, there. yeah, and anti-cubes count towards our... They count towards our total. Okay. They're, they're in that, so we're halfway there. We've okay. got 16. If we go in front of that door, we don't need to again. Yeah. But when well, we do get in front of that door, it shows blue. Some of them gotcha. highlight in blue as well. Okay. So. Oh dear. God. Ugh. Let's finish the game today. Yeah, I'm gonna we said. Throw up in my mouth. Please don't. I mean. So that's a saying, right? It's a bit it's... redundant. Because you throw up into the mouth first. It's just that. We don't say that if it then leaves the mouth. You just say you threw up. I feel like the, you... the mouth is well. The mouth, I guess, is the same conduit as the esophagus. It's it's the outport, but it's just part of the tube. I feel like if you said I just threw up, mm -hmm. people would go, "But where?" <laughs> Surely not from the mouth. <laughs> but Surely. Why, but why do I not see it everywhere? <laughs> um, it is the idea that like this is where it stopped. And then I had yeah. to deal with it. And so if you throw yeah. up in your mouth, that's where it stopped. And then you had to deal with it as opposed to the bushes. Or it's yes. or a storm yes. drain um, on Rondemall uh, while you're wearing a black suit, white tie, and your hair's red. Just to coin a phrase. I don't think you should out our viewers like that. <laughs> Do I count as a viewer? <laughs> Is that what you're we're saying? Viewer. I feel like you view. So. That felt... <sighs> bit anticlimactic, I must say. Yeah, I was about to say, let's talk about disappointment. So, <laughs> <laughs> let's discuss. Um, <laughs> no, I, because... So, so I, I don't know, but I don't want to have any strict feelings on this game. But <laughs> no, okay. I, I'm. That's possibly a little mean. No, I love that. <laughs> oh my god. I'll be mean. I feel like this is kind of central. Go on. I am always disinclined to be mean 
uh, my ability to be mean is relative to the size of the studio. The less mm-hmm. people worked on a game, the more likely I'm going to be like, it's chill. You know oh, what? The game that we got, dandy. No, I, I mean, I, I really like the game. I don't think this is a... It's not beyond criticism. I think we are reflecting on uh, our experience of the game, and our experience is not universal, mm-hmm. but, like, we are playing it under... Like, we've said this enough times. We're playing yeah. it under certain parameters. Um, yes, thank you, Crafty, for articulating that it's because throwing up inherently implies the exit of the moment. Okay. Um, excellent. Um... Yes, I, I think that um, we've articulated it enough times, mm-hmm. but playing it in a stream environment is very different to playing it in other environments. Yeah. Um, and, gosh, I thought we were getting somewhere. There's four here. Like, that, for me, as a player of the game, casually, I think I would just take as, oh, I haven't found it yet. And so I would go and find the thing that's the really, like... Oh, we didn't quite get to the outcome that I wanted. That's okay, mm-hmm. I'll keep pushing, I'll keep trying to solve puzzles and mm-hmm. figure it out. Whereas, in the context of stream, I think I want to be like, we solved it, guys. Yeah, and, and streaming, it. and we've talked about this before, where streaming has its own kind of pressure. It warps expectations because uh, there are games that are great to play but terrible to stream, and vice versa, right? I think that, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I'm, I'm getting a lot out of the process, you know? Oh, no, I, this is still enjoyable, um, but this is why games are walked away from, yeah. right? I, I think, like, this revelation has said to me, okay, yeah, um, we, we've got Fez, we've, under, we've understood it, um, maybe we'll, you know, in your own time, YouTube the ending. Um, I might finish it on my own terms. It seems unlikely, because this backtracking I'm curious seems... as to whether, I'm, whether we are supposed to crack the codes... Of the language, with but, pen and paper. Yeah, but then, but what do we do with that? We've had no inputs that we could enter a, a any language into. But they might they might be saying things much like the maps. They might be saying like, go to this place and then look at this thing, because we have so many worlds. <sighs> yeah, so yeah, expensive. that's true. That's true. I. What we should do is come back to the like lighthouse area and see if there's a way we can lower the water level. Yeah, because we wanted to go down. We did want to go down. There was a, I mean, there's one place that we went to that was just, was just the top water. part of a yeah, yeah. pyramid. Yeah, okay. So I, I agree with Lighthouse. Um, let's, go, let's go... Can we go to the warp gate here and then warp to somewhere else? Or do we want to just... Um, let's let's do Lighthouse Foist, because Lighthouse is off of here. Sure. Um, but also these pillars and stuff, right? Like the, the... Does that say warp, maybe? That pillar. Now I'm just thinking, trying to read everything as language. Oh, um, so I haven't brought this up with you yet, but there is a game that I do want to play on here, um, and it is a nostalgia trip uh, par excellence. Yeah. Um, and that is uh, a game that I grew up on, Commander Keen. Huh. That I have not played since, being young. Uh, nor should I, probably. <laughs> but I'm going to. Because this was the young person experience of this is the game that I have. And I don't know that I might have finished it maybe once or twice, if at all. I mainly just played it. I'd be like, oh, I want to play a game, and I'll boot it up and play the same levels. I, I feel very similar about a couple of games that are probably a fair bit different to Commander King. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I mean, I, I know the name Commander King. Um, I have never played it. Um, I, yeah. It's, um, I mean, it's a platformer, which so it falls within our sort of our casual remit of puzzle slash platformer being the sure. kind of thing that we do. And right. I'm, I'm just interested to see whether it sucks. <laughs> Maybe it just sucks ass, man. Like, I, I loved mean, that game, but I was a kid. You know, it was the game that I had. It's really fun. I have I recently... Um, I say recently, within the last couple of years, which is recent, mm-hmm. um, I downloaded uh, Logical Journey of the Zombinis, uh, which is a um, game that I grew up on, which is a basically... Uh, oh, we have a day-night cycle. I didn't realise it was getting... I'm going to die! It was yeah. going to get dark. Um, but yeah, that that's a game that's all about like logic puzzles and stuff, and it's very much logic puzzles for kids. And like playing as, a, as an adult is deeply unrewarding because you see all the answers well ahead of time. You gotcha. know, you're not, yep. <laughs> like, the puzzles are... So, it's, it's like playing, you know, like Maths Invaders or something now. Like, yeah, it's just it's yeah. not really a game... Yeah, 
Um, Crafty remembers the game. Cool, cool, cool. Um, but yeah, so there's a few games like that. Um, uh, I also play like Rita Rabbit and oh God, the, uh, yeah. Pajama Sam and a bunch of like really like sort of educational logical games mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, because they were what was available at the local library and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever have um, the the age gap might be too great because I only ever played this at school, but um, I think it was called Granny's Garden. I haven't. I don't think so. Trouble, trouble, math is coming up. That's oh. amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Granny's Garden was... I don't think I know Granny's Garden. It's a game. <laughs> Technically. Yeah. Um, okay. And it was on a lot of... Like, I, it was just on a lot of computers. And I feel like it was even on computers when I changed schools. But my childhood is fuzzy enough that I can't be sure. Um, yeah. And it's not quite text-based adventure because, um, you know, I believe there were very simple graphics. But we're talking, like, you know, a few colours. Yeah. And basically, the reason the game was popular in schools is because it had that sort of uh, old school adventure game bullshit of secret ways to do things and yeah. to discover new screens, and that's what kids would pass around. Yeah. Right? It's like, oh, have you seen this? In oh, I know how to do this in Granny's Garden, so fuck you. Like, it was, it had that kind of cultural cachet. And yeah. I'm sure it's awful. Um, again, I should probably pull it up sometime. It might be on GOG. Who knows? That would make sense. Yeah, um, in primary school, the game that had that kind of insider, you know, thing mm -hmm. was there was a, um, like a BMX game, hmm. um, which was like early level, like, well, not early animation, I suppose, but it wasn't, it was very, very poor quality. Yeah. Um, but it had a level editor and that was cool. Oh. But the thing was that the levels didn't save to your profile. They saved to just, like, the school server. <laughs> oh. So, like, if a game got... Uh, if a level got created, mm -hmm. everyone had access to this level now. Hmm. And so it just became this kind of, like, game generation engine. But people were only... We, people weren't allowed to play it in class. So only us uh, out-of-school, out-of-care kids yep. got to play it. For like an hour a day. How did we get up there? Uh, did you jump off the top of that tree? Top of the top of the tree to get here. No, I mean the top of the tree to the right. To get. To get where? To get where you are, I mean. I did, yes. To get here, I did, yes. Oh, to get to the pla oh, door yeah. at the top. I don't think we did get go up to it. I thought we opened that up from a different. Oh, we came level. from I there. I think we came from it. Because I want to get. Have we gone into the lighthouse? I think we came from it to go to the lighthouse. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so we've done that? I think... Okay. Oh, I think so. Because we don't have down. Oh, goodness. Um, oh, but we do have... Okay, so we've got... Could I do anything with this? So let's let's open the bottom here. Open let's, the bottom? Th there's a door at the bottom of the lighthouse. And I this think... is where we came... No, so this is just in. You reckon there might be something in... Oh, there was a chest in here. Oh, that's right. Sorry. I thought there was... Oh, there's a second there. door. That's right, yes. And this is what takes us to the top of the lighthouse. Oh, so this is us being inside the this lighthouse. This is us climbing oh. the inside of the lighthouse. Oh! Yeah. So that's how we got to the top last time. Oh, that's so interesting. Like, I, I like that it shows it... Um, even though... Like, it shows it in parallel. In terms of where it physically maps it. That's really interesting. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, we don't need to be here then. So. Unless you wanted to go through that other door. I, I, I was just trying to find out if there was... Because we haven't gone down. I was trying to find the way. Yeah, so like whatever I might lead us. I think this is the way up the lighthouse. Yeah. Which and is And we used not... that to get to the other door. But when we got to the other door, there were the like black holes at the top. And we were like, what on earth? Yeah, so that gets us to there, I guess? And then um, that gets us to here, which also gets us to here. Do we need to go this way? We don't have everything here. Actually, maybe we should come this way. Let's go that way. You know, yeah, because we've got four um, brickies there. If let's. We... How about we just go in a direction? Yeah, yeah. Let's just. Yeah. Fucking. This is such fuck a it. tough game. Oh god, yeah, and like it's it's not a tough game, but it is. I feel like the idea that we've made a certain amount of progress is very relative to, like, whether we are looking up answers to puzzles and things. Yeah. Um, 
Like, I imagine that the speed run time of this game is much quicker than the... Oh, God, yeah. But, I mean, that's... <laughs> Let's not... You know, I don't measure anything in my life by how people speed run things. Oh, dear. Yeah, so this, is, this was the thing we ran into last time, which was the trouble with getting across to that lighthouse. Clutch. Yeah, because there was a brick there that we got. Let me go here. All right, cool. And that takes us to this tower. Yeah. Um. And then I think we, we do. We have this, a. This yeah. is where we first discovered rotation. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, you were definitely controlling by this point. I think. Well, if you want to practice rotation. Oh yeah, I've got I've got no problems learning a mechanic. Um. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. No. Nope. Oh, seems easy enough. Yep. Cool. Oh. Let's re... Nice. Where are we even going? Up the top of the... Yeah. Is that the only way through? I think so. We go but there, if you, yeah, if you then drop we get down, the ladder. Get the oh, ladder. shit. Yeah, so we can't use the ladder anymore, right? You can climb the ladder when you're on the other s Oh, hang on. Oh, sideways. Oh, no, you're right, you're right. Yeah, yeah, so we just need to time it. Okay, cool. So if I drop down... Great. Nope, nope. Well, that's a thing you can do. As, as it happens. I don't love this. <laughs> this. This didn't feel this... Did we have the? I don't think we had the black hole. Last time? I, I don't think we did. I don't think we did. I, I think that suggests that they've made it harder because this is a way we have to double back. Which, okay, so that's actually a very valid way, in my opinion, of getting around the backtrack problem of saying, oh, well, what if more content? Yeah. <laughs> you know, what if we create more content by changing the existing content? We yeah. we technically make it new, or at least different, and thus interesting. Yeah. And I want to rotate. Why don't we try it without being on the ladder? Just if you want to get the right That's direction. true, yeah. Oh, God, I have to be there first. Oh, okay, so I okay, need to be so beside you to be the... You need to be as high as you can be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Right. So you need to be just on the yeah. red there. So, comically, there isn't enough in this game for me, mechanically, for this to be interesting. As as interesting as it could be, right? Huh. Like, this is cool. Like, that's cool. But there's so much effort, and the moving around is kind of fun, but... I, I've heard um, people talk about Metroidvania games before, which naturally yeah. have a lot of backtracking, and there are a couple things that make that fun. One is just smooth and fun movement controls. Right. So always dashing, always, you know, bouncing off of walls, using your various techniques that you've accrued over the course of the game. One. And two, um, fighting enemies along the way. Yeah. Little bits of friction. Right now, the friction is, fuck, that takes so long to get there. And how do I yeah. do that? That's, yeah. that's the only friction. It's not, oh, I've got to battle through. I mean, if I had both, maybe it would also be frustrating. I don't know. I, I feel like that puzzle... That was cool. I, w I will say that is cool. Yeah. But I don't know. It's um. Okay. So have we been here? Yeah. At some point. Okay, the room we've been, we're in, we've been to. Have we been in it from this end? I believe so. This is the only way through. Well, no, because it, it leads to another room that we've also been to in other ways. This this connection up here to the green spot. Yeah, that's where we're headed, um, and we came from here. Right, but I don't know if we came from here to get there last time. Is I... That... this is... I believe so. Um, because where did this just goes... Oh dear god. Yeah, this, is how, this is how we got into Sewer Land. You can zoom out rather than scrolling forever. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> or you can scroll forever. Yeah. Sure. I think, okay. this, I think this is the way we came last time. It's alright. Um... I spent some time re-watching Lost last week, so part of me is like, how can I bring this into Lost? <laughs> and I can't. Not cleanly. Shame. 
Should I have done that? Probably not. Let's find out. No, we're good. Should I have done that? Probably not, is also the description <laughs> of, of, of Lost. Of Lost. Yeah, I, I, I'm withholding my thoughts on Lost. Should I... Um, oh, another sign. Um, should I decide to try and make some kind of podcast uh, discussing my take on it? Yeah, and, and we had these sort of uh, condiment pipes. You've got mustard, you've got ketchup, you've got blue. The three genders. Those, those are, yep. Uh, oh, the spinny. Yeah, I, I have not controlled any of this. Um, I just watched you um, have a time. So we went to, we just sort of kept going. So there was yeah. another way here that we missed, and there's like a room yeah, here. I, there's a. See, I think, I don't think we came through the way that we just came through. I feel like we entered into that area, but I don't think we came through it from this area because I think that the first time we saw this aesthetic mm -hmm. was in the very noir, like raining and neon signs and stuff. Uh, that very first yeah, time. Yeah, run. yeah. So I don't think we came through this way. Hmm. There's a door we haven't opened. There was? To the left. Oh shit, here we go. We found yeah. it, we found the door. This <laughs> is the one that's got all the answers. Oh, it might. Uh, I'm just always curious. Oh, okay. Oh, this one's got some cubes. Bricks are plenty. All right, let's do the... No. Let's do the wrong thing. Let's do the wrong thing, guys. The right thing is overrated. This is a very vertical... Yeah. Landscape. The direction it wants me to go is up. Um, okay, so we've got a ladder there. Every time we get to a new map, I'm mentally mapping it against the um, uh, the maps we have, like our, our treasure maps and stuff. Oh, of course, yeah. I mean, thankfully, one of them is um, you know pretty iconic in that it's just a brick, right? Yeah. And it, like, there's a lot of doors, and I feel like we were in a space that almost had that. Yeah. Um, I think last session we were screwing around with some kind of ascendant nonsense. Oh dear. No, no. Zero scope. With these ones, I think it's just a matter of uh, waiting. Like, you just let them take you to where you want, rather than rotating the screen. I didn't rotate the screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> you just... You figure out where you want to be jumping off. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Land on here regardless because it will just sort of. And then. Oh! Yep. Cool. Oh. Hey, there's a bit up there. Ooh, I love bits. They're worth so much on the open market. So I think we want to jump over there. Yeah. Oh god. It's the hyper yep. hypercube. Right. Oh! Oh my, so, tur one, so turgid. It's going to launch me. Yep. And I'm going to die. Oh! I The you fall keep damage... You thinking you're going to die and lots of this. Well, the fall damage is so mercurial. I don't have a good feel for it at all. I'm calling for a universal fall damage standard. That'll be my political I'm once platform. again asking for your universal <laughs> fall damage standard. Oh, I was trying to time it, and I didn't even <laughs> didn't even come close. Yeet! No, <laughs> that's a bad idea. <laughs> this is not the power fantasy I signed up for. When I decided to play a small ghost. Yeah. In a in a, fez. in a fez. In a fez. That's true. In a fez. Um, can we just look at the treasure map for a second? Because yeah. this is very vertical, and this looks the treasure map. Oh, the treasure map. Rather than the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, nope. Yeah. You reckon? Mm, no. No, I don't... No. It's it's similar. I it like has... your thinking. Yeah. Oh, God. Fucking trousers. I would not think less of you as a gamer if you fall there. <laughs> if I do exactly that, that's right. The game knows who I am. 
Okay, so th on. these are going to speed up. Alright, and we want to be... Yep. Dead. Yeah, they're... they're <laughs> spin, spin my corpse. I found that actually just jumping nope. and trying to just go, 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 go every single time. Like, clear a cup when I trip. Well, I was doing that before. Um, and then you rightly suggested that I see where it goes from there, and it's like... It, I was just saying, like, to get a feel for the... I, I'm back! <laughs> oh, whoops. I'm back! Alright. Uh, let me in, Doc Giff. Screen are you gonna jump on? That mm -hmm. one's good. Oh, I'm there. improving. <laughs> Not for sure. Good corpse. I was waiting for it to spin again. Oh. I wonder if there's a speed runs. There's almost certainly a speed runs trap that is just um using the launch bits to. Oh god, yeah, for exactly sure. Exactly, put yourself in the right. For path. sure, yeah. I, I don't feel the launch was that big. I'm used to launch pads being, um... I don't know. Oh, we can get that cube. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think we'll do that. If I don't fucking... Okay, so this is clearly a uh, rotate. A mid-air. Um, Alright, let's try and internalize okay, this. Okay, Iron Man. So where are we going? I think your best bet is going to be that oh, one. Oh, yeah, here we go. I, I, I tried pushed up, which is the universal, like, hey, grab onto the vines. There we go. Mm. Alright, cool. Uh, make sure that I'm here, so that when I do this, we're good. We Gucci. As I always say. You say it, perhaps too much. Alright. Uh... Oh! Cube. Yeah! Cube. One like one cube. What do you think of uh, the um, uh, Twitch emoji being a nonagon? Ah, <laughs> uh, or a cube? <laughs> I mean, you know, is is this our fate to to <laughs> to chase MacGuffins through the end of time? I mean, it's kind of just that's that's video games, but baby. We need a number of keys to get through the door. Yeah. Um. So if I jump. Hopefully you'll be able to jump okay, so and not that land side. on it. Oh, no, no. Because when I spin it, the, the okay. moss isn't near me. Just drop down to the launch thing again and jump back up, get back up here. Hopefully you won't have to repeat the whole thing. There we go. Yeah. Now we're up. Yeah, I, I figured this was legal. Right. Oh, okay, so if I jump and spin, maybe? I don't think so, though. Oh. Yeah. It's too far away. Uh, I, if I spin oh, twice... If you jump and spin, you can be on the other side. No. Oh. Other side not allowed. Um, hmm. And the cruelty is it just keeps me here. <laughs> the, the way out isn't to die. There's no obvious... Yeah, wow. That's... I think if you jump to the, jump to the right, maybe? Oh, that's... It's, it's all too far. I can't even drop down without dying. Okay. Then... <laughs> so awful. Yeah, maybe if you jump on it when it's raised, you'll have less fall damage? I like it. I don't think I can reach yeah. it. We'll see. Oh, that was close. That's okay. I don't think that's the answer. No. I think the answer is we jump and rotate somehow. Yeah, we're just not near the moss. I'm shocked that that's too much of a fall. Yeah, maybe we need to jump yeah. onto the moss on the side there. Yeah, I was say, that's not gripping moss. Uh, if we were... Yeah. Yeah, see, it's nowhere near me. Hey! Okay. 
Okay, so no, that no. was it. It I was bullshit. That, I don't know if that was the way we were supposed to do it, but that's the way we did it. And yep. that's actually more important. That's video games, baby. Alright. Maybe, uh, maybe the new emoji is just you saying, that's video <laughs> games, baby. Your oh, new cool no. slogan. Ugh. <laughs> that's video games, baby. Baby. Thanks, yeah. Thanks, I hate it. Oh. No, that's just too far. What, what that's are those? too much, those, man. Those have a different. Yeah, they goals. have a dip. They rotate oh, so on. They're, a di they're only actually hey. solid when they have a block. No, I think they um turf me off. Right, but sometimes they have a cube on them, and sometimes they. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's. What Sometimes they have a thing on them, and sometimes they don't. It's just curious. I'm just curious about their marks. Mm. But I don't think that is actually... Okay, so... Oh, I'm it's the direction they rotate. Oh. Okay. Can you rotate on them when they're a different pattern, maybe? Oh. oh, okay. Do you need to be in mid-air when they rotate? No, I, I think I just got to time it better. Nope. 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 Ooh. If you're grabbing on the edge of it and it rotates, what happens? Yeah, let's test on this one, because it's... Yeah, okay. Oh... I was really worried that that was gonna just oh like there. yeah take it as my as my last place alive yeah oh. that was close yeah I think I think the double jump the sort of no 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 oh, I got I got actually oh. is there a way that when you rotate are they in a different order uh. Yeah, but this is like the best. The, 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 it, okay. These are much for muchness, yeah. I was just wondering, because if you can go from the first to the third one as you can on some of the... Hey! Look at that. <sighs> Master platformer. Oh, Jesus! Okay, that's okay. Yeah, this could be worse. They're taking their time out of a sense sen of morbid <laughs> out of sympathy for me a lowly gamer oh for mm. alright I want to get to the top and then we'll take a break because we're, we're nearing the, the breaking yeah. time um, that'll be a very neat break I think yeah assuming oh, for this, assuming this has a top and is not just an <laughs> endless <laughs> endless incline yeah so one of the difficulties with this controller is trying to figure out what what is is the problem. Which of the problems are the controller, and which of the problems my body? Right, mm. my hands are not reliable anymore. Um, pain and weakness issues, and so sometimes there's lag in the controller. But how much of that is lag from me? Oh my god, look at that worm up top. God. Oh, very cool. Um, but let's go. Delightfully devilish. Seymour! Ugh! Oh. Woo! Alright. No, no, no. Actually, let's just see what we're dealing with here. That's what we're dealing with. Okay. I like... Uh, I think when it's, when it's a line, you can just run along it. Yeah, and yeah, miss. yeah. Oh, for sure. I just gotta... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, this is taking the 3D conceit to a very interesting place. Which has been like the whole game, right? What was that? What was what? Something went ding and then ascended. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm surprised. I, I may oh. have imagined it. Oh, this is just... So you can rotate them, but it's more like a um, push cart. Yeah sort of deal. Oh, you can get in that you can get that chest. Oh, but then you'd have to drop down. So you've got to press mm. X and then push Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on the wrong. 
that's fine. Press X. Yep. Oh, right. Yeah, we can maybe. Let's let's get our guaranteed reward. I reckon I can just let's jump come, across. Let's come back to that. Okay. I reckon we keep ascending. I guess what what we're trying to do is find screens and content, right? Like that's currently the point. No, 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 no. come back. Be on the correct you shitter. Oh dear God. <laughs> that was not the safest way to do that, Fez. <laughs> no. Nope. Just casually sprinting it. I could rave to this. We've got to make our um, my, intro music to that theme. My core hurts watching <laughs> watching Fez do this work. Okay, so just it's just a door. I mean, floating in space. And we'll see what's there after the break. <laughs> yeah. Um. Friends, uh, we'll be back shortly. Um, feel free to, you know, help yourself to some water. You know, take that's it. it. That's it. That's all you're allowed. <laughs> take in fluids, expel fluids. They're allowed to expel fluids, Justin. I guess. But you, you can't. You have to do it. No, that's fine. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna impose rules. Uh, Good. Uh, we'll be back. Uh, we'll be right back. Oh, doing Gosh. a stretch. Doing a yawn. Hey there, stream. Oh, hello. I didn't. I didn't see you come in. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, let's play a video game. Oh um, yeah. So, all right, new area, but it's going to be much like the same area. I just so, moved myself off camera. Let, let's assume that this is the last hour that we will spend really getting to grips with what Fez is, right? Mm -hmm. So, with that in mind, oh, another warp gate. That makes sense. Um, is that a whole cube that's here? Maybe. Um, so thinking about this game as an exploration of what you can do with space in a platformer. Um, I think it's cool. Yeah. So I've been rambling about how it would be interesting oh, to... Oh, there we go. Yes, there's oh, just, yeah, a, just a cube there. Cube. Huh? Um, Hello, first subscriber. Ooh, big, big first energy right there. Welcome. Look at this first subscriber over here. Uh, welcome to the stream. What were you saying about space? Yes, um, so I've been, um, I was rambling about it uh, last time we played, three or four weeks ago, um, about how this game is about the manipulation of space in a platformer in a very novel way that I, to my uh, admittedly uh, limited knowledge, has not been done before. Yeah. Uh, and the same can be said of grade and time. Yes. The way Braid plays with time. It takes the expectations you have in a platformer and then shifts them along the axis of time. But both Fez and Braid also necessarily include space and time. Yes. Like time is an element of this and space is an element of Braid because we're playing a <laughs> we're playing a game um, yes. Which, yes. in which things occur with, the, with or without us. The thing us. that's being kept constant, I guess, in this is time. And the thing that's being yeah. played in space. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just, I mean, I don't know how deep that thought is. Mm. It's just, I love, I mean, admittedly, this is one of my favourite things when it comes to analysing text, is playing them off one another. Is interpreting something and going, okay, what if we hold it up against something else that Ooh, does that, something similar or something opposite, perhaps? Under the platform there? Uh, oh! There's a bit of sky under our platform, that doesn't look that correct. green... Yep, that was a glitch. That was a glitch, okay. I noticed a glitch. So we've warped back here. here. This was this has been our playtest of Fez. <laughs> yep. Well, we best found, we found the glitch. Close it down. Bug report. <laughs> They'll patch it start, and we'll, and start now we need from scene zero. We, no, and then we need to recreate it to test it. No, you've got to test your bugs, right? They patch it, they send no. it back to you. Did what? this fix it? <laughs> okay, I'll get back to you in eight hours. Yeah, it, it we've documented it. it does, uh, that's true. Oh no, is that the future? All playtesting for bugs is streamed. 
Yeah. It's just a thousand, thousand channels. Oh, but that'd be such a good Twitch stream, though. Oh. If you just play test games. Watching somebody openly weep. Yeah. Oh, man. That'd be fun. But also terrible. Also yeah. very terrible. Anyway, sorry, I've interrupted you on several thoughts. Oh, that's fine. That's what streaming is. Um, <laughs> so we're here now. Oh, yeah. Because uh, we walked here. There's a bunch of chests. So there's a chest in that area that we went to on the way here. E yes. So, okay. We walked from where? We walked from... Uh, the little one on the end there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where we... Can we walk back there? I'd love to. Um, but I think this just takes us to sewer. Oh. Let me try. Because maybe then we just... Go I thought you were supposed to be able to choose where you go from these. That would, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that just make this game real dandy? I thought that was what it was saying when it said, like, the small warp gates just take you back to the big ones, but the yeah. big ones take you to wherever you want to go. Behold, a warp gates. Aha! Pick a destination and press up to work. Yeah, I thought that. So, I just pushed up. That's fine, I didn't want to be down here anyway. But um, we tried this last stream and we struggled to get anywhere. Yeah. Pick a destination. Pick how? Is it, is it... It's not a very clear instruction. No, because you... We were on the map, and I don't think it... Yeah, we tried to pick on the map. This is what we had last time. Yeah. We tried to do this, and I was like, I can't figure it out. Let's do another thing. Yeah. But for something that essential to the game to be unclear, feels bad. Yes. Feels awful. Wow. Oh, well, time to ascend that oh. tower again, I guess. Uh... Because right now there's there's no image there, but we can't inject one. Oh, pick perhaps between your two options. Oh, okay. Between the other warp gates you've unlocked. No, I think you get given to, like we've got two screens here. Yeah. Okay. I mean they're right. We do pick one of two. Yeah. Um. This sucks. Alright, I love this lizard. Let's appreciate this lizard for a bit. What a good lizard. Oh, 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 oh. Just li the lizard runs from oh. us! Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Can we talk to the lizard with X? No. Because we've talked to birds, haven't we? We talked to the frog, I think. No! Right. Um, where, where will this take us, I wonder? Can we... Probably to another wolf cave. I would wager. Yeah. Seems legit. Okay. Probably that bit, that one there. I'm seeing a lot of big squares. Ah, <sighs> goodness, goodness, goodness. So we should have opened that chest on that way out, I guess. Yeah, probably. But I mean, what's going to be in the fucking key? Do you know where a door is? <laughs> I get the feeling that we've made a decision that we're not proceeding with this. Yeah, I think I, I think I think we've yeah. got there, you know. Yeah, look, I yeah. And it's I'm, a great game. I would really Most... enjoy mucking around with this game. I also Yeah, it just It's quite difficult and it's quite difficult especially to walk away from and come back to, I think. Yeah, it's delivered um, some real whoopsies. We, yeah. I think I think this would be much better as a continuous play exercise. Um, yeah. I think, so, I have played, like, the first two levels of Braid, mm -hmm, I think, mm -hmm. and that's it. Yeah. Have you played any Braid before? I've finished Braid. <clears throat> right. So will I be playing Braid? Um, I finished it. Do you remember um, the house that I lived in uh, when we first met. Yes. That's when I finished Braid. Okay. So I don't remember uh, how to finish it at all. And because each of the levels is basically a puzzle that you then need to iterate on and solve in a platformy way, um, uh, Justin, I believe what we're looking at in the distance is um, uh, one of our treasure map. Maybe. Holy shit, maybe it is. Yeah, let's give it a gander and see. That looks a lot like it. Yeah. It needs to be around the other way. It looks a lot like it. Actually, let me... Well, if only we had some sort of way I of know. rotating scenes. Oh, uh, no, I don't think it is. Because we're missing the other part, right? 
I not... think I think if we rotate from one angle, we might get it. Let's find out. But it it just doesn't look like a complete arch yet. But let's see. Um, yeah. So I have played all of Braid, and I loved it. Um, it has a story that is also subversive. I forget exactly what the particulars of that are, um, okay. but I know it plays with conventions in that it appears to be a platformer of the Mario genre, um, and then kind of... Ooh! We have a highlighted message. Yep, yep. So that's a uh, Crafty testing out the... It's like a kind of um, user XP. Okay. You, you uh, earn numbers by doing things in the system and then you can spend I've, them on things like highlighted messages. I've, I've seen that. I've, um, yeah. It can... Sometimes they're just generated by, like, watching for enough time. I feel like... Crafty's like gonna earn a, a bunch here. As the, the, the mod. Oh! World's best mod. Yeah, I'd say so. We should get her a mug. <laughs> Just to certify it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where am I going? That door, maybe? Can you run across and jump? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Does um, that door lead anywhere we've been? So, there's... Yeah, there's what... We have been we that have way. We have been through that door. So, I'm, I'm trying to find the way we have it. In fact, that's what frustrates me. That little cube off to the side there. Right? It what? somehow branches off. Okay. I don't so that's know. somewhere else from this level. Yeah. Or from the previous level that I just didn't see, even though we just really went through the one door. Right. Um, I know that we've, like... Oh, God. Oh, bloody hell. Look at that shit. <clears throat> what am I meant to do with that? Uh, complain. Okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Whew. Uh, yeah, this doesn't get I just have much. to be better at jumping, I guess. Can we go through the door and then yeah, come... Yeah. Hey, that, that worked. Um, one of these rotations kills me? No. Okay. Oh, here we go. There's a door. We haven't been there. Yeah. Also, oh, that's a platform? Like, is that a button? Over to your right? Which we need to put that... Oh, yeah. That box on? Yeah. Have yeah. we been here? I feel like we may have been here, but not been through this... Yeah. Oh, this, seems, this looks vertical. This looks this new. This looks like a map. Hey. This, is, this is new. It has lots of cubes and bits, and it looks like our map. That we have. Yeah. This looks like our treasure map. There's a lot of arches in the sky. In general. We in, have plenty of highlighted messages, and I reserve the right not to read them. Ooh. <laughs> mm. Um... Nice, nice. Uh, we have a we have a good. <laughs> what the? F Why? Do you have to drop and then grab on by pressing grab up again? And then, yeah, I guess. So Which... you have to go down and up. But I, that's that's that sucks because it already looks like I'm climbing. Okay. Oh, you are climbing. That'd be why. Okay. I blame the game. Uh. You would. Yes, when it's the game's fault. <laughs> Uh, let's it might, it might not have been the game's fault. I'm often at fault. Another one of these. No. <laughs> I, I press jump. Oh my god! You step through one door. You step through one door. <laughs> so, you know how... <laughs> what's, what's that saying? Or if you, um, if you bump into assholes all day, maybe you're the asshole. Interesting. If you bump into black holes all day... Maybe you're the singularity. Maybe you're the right? void. Yeah. Maybe it is you who is the one generating um, blood slick rips in natural law. Ooh. That's extremely pretty. Yeah. It's a new map as well. Yes. <laughs> it's a rotation of the previous map. Yeah. Oh, no, not quite. Not, not a perfect rotation. Um, that's quite cute. Well, um, let's go and solve our first map. Yeah, hopefully. I really thought that was acid. <laughs> like, I absolutely thought we were going to die. Because you die in the sewer when you fall in the water, don't you? Uh, yeah, I feel like some water kills you. Yeah. I mean, it's sewer water. Yeah. So, so that's your first sign that you maybe shouldn't. There's some precedent. Um, 
I just want to double check. This is the one with the map? No. Do we have the map off? I mean, we, the, the problem... We'll see at the top, I guess. Yeah, the problem is you, we can't get enough of a look of the entire thing. There's plenty of cubes, though, which I love. Yeah, there's a lot to do. What I love is that this is anything. <laughs> you know what I love? That this is uh, gameplay. Uh, is there a cube on the bit we're on? Yes, okay. Up and let's ruin a bird's life. Just to say, I'm going to be here, and the bird's going to be like, "I don't, I don't want to be here with you," and we will be shamed. I love it for liking birds. Birds are very cool. Oh dear. Can we? Oh, that's okay. Uh, we, yeah, we got to go down, right? Like we got to. It's, it's, it's not going to be. We can. Nuts. Yeah, we can jump across. Yeah. I prefer these ones that are just on the way. We can jump back up. Yeah. That's that's helpful. Look. I'm sure it's glitching out because it, bird. it wants to stay where it is, but it also uh, can't be near us. Bye, bird. Let we, me free you from your you prison. <laughs> we have freed it from it is cage. Oh, that's a reference that only like two people get. Never mind. Yeah, I don't. I don't. There was... Nope. Um, nope. Nope. The... Nope. There was a Chocolatiers that used to be on Rundle Street. Um, it recently closed. Um, and they, being a particularly um, pretentious coffee place, mm -hmm. they had a very long, winding monologue about um, the way that they treat um, chocolate as an art form, not merely as a food. Um, and one mm -hmm. of the... Um, one of the lines was, I have freed chocolate from its cage. Um, except they'd used the wrong it as well. So <laughs> I just started saying, I have freed chocolate from it is cage. I thought it Com is... Completely out of context. I, I thought it was a proper noun. Yep. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, of course I don't get the reference. I haven't seen it is. No. You know? <laughs> I have freed chocolate from it is cage. Um, is a reference that I make to a... <laughs> monologue that was painted on the wall of a Max Brenner <laughs> for maybe two years and only a couple of people ever saw and paid attention to. I mean, I don't feel like yeah, I don't I don't feel like it is um is our is our emote. <laughs> I don't think that has enough uh We will get there, we'll get it's there. It's not potent enough. Oh I wonder if you can jump to the I'm having real problems here, so I can I... you rotate right? Can you jump there? Yes. And then we're stuck here. Oh. This is the problem I was trying to... Oh, here we go. Yeah, never mind. I was in the right spot before and did not see the uh, ways mm. in which to solve my problems. Now, presumably, I can... Yeah! Well, good round, yeah, you'll never have to be that uh, chocolatier again because it is now closed. And replaced with quite a nice sushi place. So was this, as you said, Rundle Street? This is Rundle Street. So this is one of those places that I presume had like exposed brick um, and wood. It, it sounds was, it. I don't think it... I think it was uh, pretentious in other ways. Okay, okay. Um, I don't think... I think it was one of the... Yeah. I, I think um, the exposed brick and wood um, method of uh, architecture mm. is... A unique example of something that I rag on all the time, but often genuinely like. I think, yeah, the main thing for me is um, it's very hard to tell now whether something is an ock health and safety issue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, is the exposed wiring uh, a niche, you know, Yes, so they, they painted all the walls white and scribbled over it a strange nonsex uh, nonsensical chocolate manifesto which is the one that i was reading from i believe at one point i did actually find someone that had because they didn't really announce no, they no. were um like closing the store they announced they had closed the store right and so i was very disappointed because of not because i particularly cared for the store although i went there a few times mm -hmm. um but because i'd lost this manifesto yeah um uh this maybe the most pretentious like, it, it's, it's a deeply, deeply pretentious, uh, pretentious tirade. I think it's very, like... Nope. That, that is a representative sample, the I have free chocolate yep. line. Um, uh, so, I... But I, I found a Google image search at one point, but I really had to go deep into the Googles. 
so uh, I'll see if I can find it again sometime. Oh. Are you saying anything? Yeah. Right over here, I gotta get out onto this side. here and then I'm still and then is it timing waiting for it yeah to go up and it's down? it's yeah there yeah yeah one of those jumps that seems like it's probably not possible and then you're like well it's the only one so it's probably it and lo and behold um, it's another bloody board gate I'm gonna look up this manifesto oh yeah do it um, I'm gonna turn this controller back on please no. Okay. We're good. We're good. Uh, map. Alright, so we've explored all we can on this leg. This leggy. So we got that. Oh, I've, I've found a cropped version of it. Let's see if I can find mm, the actual thing. Small gate. Small. Small gate. Um, he fucking loves the idea of us going back to the sewers. I wonder if that's intentional. I want you to note that there is another um, thing that is on a wall of a different Max Brenner, which is, I invite you to watch, smell, taste, and feel my love story. <sighs> I've been asked to experience many things in my life I found it almost nobody when asking me to experience something lists that many senses and the moment they do I get afraid that that has awoken a deep fear in me okay so that was the taster okay do you want to hear the Max Brenner story well as I descend into the sewers let's <clears throat> do it the Max Brenner story no you know what you know what? <laughs> this deserves... I'm not playing any more game until this is done. Okay. Take me there. We don't invent anything in chocolate. It all exists in people's minds and hearts. We just express it in the most evident way. A way that everyone imagines chocolate and wishes to experience it. Until now, chocolate was sold in a manner highly contradicting its sensual warm and joyful character, restrained ambiance, untouchable, closed behind a glass barrier, we have freed chocolate from it is cage. <laughs> we let people experience it to the fullest. That is the Max Brenner story. <laughs> that was a whole wall. So before these fuckers <laughs> came along, what, the presumption is that people were eating chocolate that was encased in glass, yeah. like just chomping down on glass baubles that were full of undernourished, unsensuous beans. <laughs> Cold and alone. Oh. <laughs> oh yep. Was the chocolate any good? Oh, it's quite nice. Okay. <laughs> Was... That's, that's almost worse. I want the chocolate to be shitty then, right? I don't I don't want to give them any ground. Look, it, it was it was fine. Like it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't groundbreak I never ate it and was like, oh my goodness, I'm experiencing a new dimension of chocolate. It's not yep. the fez of chocolate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so were they were they saying that they were presenting chocolate to people in a way that they imagined? Like people have this expectation and this imagination of chocolate and they're the only ones to live up to that? Because there was an opening section about people's perception and then i got washed away in the attempted sensuality um yeah i mean it's deeply sexy obviously yeah um we don't invent anything in chocolate it all exists in people's minds and hearts so what they're doing is they are evoking the platonic ideal of chocolate no that's that's fucking that's ridiculous like you don't say oh what you dream of chocolate we make it to be true you're like no we've found something new in chocolate that you haven't had before and it's great Good round boy saying, from memory, it was pretty dull and overpriced, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty... Like, it was it was fine. It was a yeah. chocolate place um, in the absence of, uh, like, um, uh, 
uh, chocolate bean closed, and I believe Cockalite went through renovations yeah. and, and possibly also closed. Um, there's there's a bunch of them that um, yeah. There's there's a bunch of places that closed in quick su- succession. Right. I think now I would go to Stephen Terhorst probably if I wanted chocolate okay. on um, Rundle Street. Yeah. If you're looking for an actual recommendation, but yeah, um, they um, I don't know. It was just a place you could get a um, a hot chocolate and. Uh, well, I know that um, you know, after a few um, you know, steak nights, there would be like a dessert trawl right, right. on on Rundle Street. This is this was often my experience of uh, those places. Was that sort of um, yeah, and oh, there are certainly you could certainly do worse, mm-hmm. vis-a-vis chocolate, but um, yeah, I think I just filled one of my lungs with beer. Oh. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, I smelled beer as you breathed out, which is indicative of beer lung. Yeah, late stage beer lung. It's um, it's a problem really, but uh, that's okay. We'll make our way through. Um, the wilderness. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Um, you I anything? am having. Oh yes, uh, please demo it for the chat. A fresh cut citrus ale, and it's fine. Yeah, uh, this was a sixer that I bought. Um, go what? So. You helped me buy shirts, yes. amazing shirts, and I was like, Justin, I will, I will They're buy right. us beer. Hmm. And I was in a BWS, and we were just swinging by on the way to the dinner. Hmm. And I texted you a couple of options, two options, I think. Hmm. And one of them was this citrus beer, and then there was something else that was presumably worlds better, oh, something amazing. <laughs> the I the thing I messaged you, I mm-hmm. think, was this sounds good, but I'm not sure I could drink a six pack of it. And you read, this sounds good, and got it. Well, yeah, so you... <laughs> Which is totally reasonable, because I think I sent them in separate messages. Well, I saw the word citrus, because I think mm-hmm. what you said was, I could drink the citrus. Yeah. And I was like, sold! Yeah, yeah. Justin can drink it? And I, I, I liked the look of, I, you know, this is why I like IPAs. I like that sort of passion fruity, you know, mm. zest you get in the, in the, in the froth. Um, it's fucking camera tonight. Can't right. get a good... Maybe I need to get my gamer hunch going. No... Ah, Crafty has found the the image. Fantastic. Oh, um, oh, and good brown boy flattering my shirt buying. Thank you. Um, yes, I'm. I'm. Well, um, I have been uh, an okay fashion advisor. I've been repeatedly um, complimented already on the shirts that you um, assisted mm. with. So um, you know, there you go. Well done. <clears throat> I'm. I'm glad. Um, I, I'm I'm very glad uh, very glad you found that crafty and it's now immortalized in um, Twitch chat which I believe lasts forever. Um, I hope not. <laughs> I mean, no, it it lasts as long as um uh you know people. How the? As long as it exists in the minds and hearts of those that love it, I believe. Yeah, in the sense that it's there as long as the vod remains. Well, now that I'm an affiliate, I presume my vods last longer. Because I think they're forced. Oh, is that really possibly? Because I'm. Huh. I think if your partner, at least, they last for a very long time. And previously, it was like a week for for um you know uh, lower tier scrubs like myself. And then it was fourteen days. And now it might be more. I'll see. Mm-hmm. Because I will just see in my own archive as I you know um download vods, whether um you know vods from a week ago, or two weeks, or three weeks are still there. Fourteen still. Fourteen still. Okay. Uh, it's longer for partners. Fourteen is yonks though. Yeah. Fourteen's ages. But. If you want that URL, I'll just read it letter by letter now. So that is... <laughs> <laughs> I won't be doing that. Um... <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. HTTPS <laughs> colon double forward slash www dot. Um, no, I'm not doing that. Yeah, you don't. Um, <laughs> I, I don't want when, to... When we... Uh, when all of our YouTube uh, viewers come by, I don't want to horribly, you know, I don't want to distribute a denial of service attack against this poor <laughs> WordPress creator. Yeah, no. Um, is that a vine on the side of that? Oh, it almost certainly is. Have you opened that chest or not? No. Can't reach that vine. Oh. That jump? Beyond our jumping. Oh, bother. Unless it's like some kind of like... I, I, it's possible, Lost. it's possible that it's possible, I could not see a way to do it, and the water would not go any higher. And we have 20 minutes left, so let's not... Oh yeah, up. so, yeah. 
Absolutely, fuck it. Can I land on this? Sure can't! Alright, cool. So I meant to land on that, uh... Oh! Here's how I solved the problem. I love it. Presumably. Yep, yeah, one more. Oh, no, no, no. other way. Yeah. What am I trying to do? If you push on different sides of the lever, it'll rotate it in opposite directions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, so, uh, but I'm, I'm trying to figure out where we want it for what we're trying to do. I think we want it. Do we want it under the? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Is that? Is that, is, it? Is that good? I don't know if that's gonna. Is that? If we rotate. And now, if we bring the water up. Yep, yeah, that looks good. Is that water rising or lowering? Because I can't see it, and we could just be spinning our wheels at the bottom of the barrel. I think that's out the wrong way. I believe there's a control you can use to just look down. Yeah, you just you do just look. Um, this is baffling. There it is. Okay. Oh no, it buffers. Okay. Um. So what do we? Uh, what do we? Uh, I still can't reach the vines. <laughs> Are we trying to? I don't know what I don't know what changing this does, right? Because it's too low to change what I'm trying to do up here, which is get to that chest. If you rotated the platform so that this couldn't raise above the platform, what would happen to it? That's a great question. What happens if we lower the water level 1, yeah. or lower the water levels until we can get to the rotating bit? Yeah. That should be enough. Yep. Yeah. And then we rotate the platform so it's above it. Right. Maybe this doesn't work, but, but I'm curious. And I think that was it, because we were on a different rotation. Well, sure, but we'll just jump up and then change the water, right? Or, or do we want it to be all underneath? I think we want uh, it to be underneath for the... Cause do you reckon this floaty thing is going to push everything up? I'm not sure. Let's let's try it. Let's figure it yeah, out. Yeah, let's... let's we, we can test <clears throat> here whether this does we can, anything. We can try and big brain it. Because I also haven't just dropped down far enough to mm -hmm. see um, if there's any soluble... Uh, so it's this... Yes. There you go. Oh, it just it raises. Just, past. It just doesn't care. Yeah. Can we raise it? Let's keep raising it. Yeah, and then keep on going. Right? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I don't know what I'm meant to be doing here. That's very confusing, yeah. Because if this was just over there, if this was just under it, which is presumably what we're trying to do, right? To get this underneath so There's that we can just jump up and grab can... the vines. It's not different when you rotate from on there, is it? No. Yeah, moving this appears to be the puzzle. Hang on, does this get dramatically to the left or right? Hang on. You know, I think if I put this on the same level as the... Uh, platform that we're rotating maybe we'll get pushed with let's, it yeah that's about all i've got um, let's yeah so if they're on the same level yeah oh but you can't put it on the same level because to actually rotate the platform you have to be lower than the water level oh right oh <clears throat> oh it's on there oh this uh, is, this is the thing okay this is the thing we did it we found it we found it we found it we found sexy it. geniuses all right um we have freed platform from the disc cage. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Uh, Alright. So now... Um... I'm so glad that um, Good Brown Boy could come along just for that. Yeah. For that one segment. Yeah. I was 
do the wrong one first, don't I? Right, that's the... Yeah. Ascending has the ascending notes. Oh, I think we want it one more rotation, though, because we want it under it from this angle, right? Ah, shit, you're right. That's okay, we can, I think we can still go down. Yeah, I think... I've... From here. Yeah. Whew. Right. Um. So I'm just going one way. Fez falls over every time. Bless. Bless our little Gomez. Yeah. Our pal. Our friend. To the end. Nope. Nope, wrong way again. Nope. Thumb tongue. Hey, what a little instrument. Woo! Inside the chest, five bucks. It's a, it's a steam voucher. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> That's a whole cube, though. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Okay, that's still not nearly enough. Good God, it would be it would be weeks. I mean, we we found four. Yeah, yeah, on stream. yeah. No. That's yeah. No, we found four on stream today. That ain't enough. And that's just us dicking around. That's not us going yeah. to the absolute ends of the earth at every spot and full clearing, which we should be doing if we were trying to. I would be hitting a FAQ at this point. I would be lazying out probably. And at that point. Watch someone else. Watch a walkthrough. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't think that we're going to pick up that much from... No. ...playing through this much of the game we've walked through. Yeah. No. Well, now that we've done this little quaint area or, um, we can... This was a fun puzzle. I liked I, this. Yeah, I did like it. This was a nice one to, if not end on, almost end on, right? Well, I feel like my attitude to this is mm -hmm. it's not a game that we are hard quitting because we hated it. Yeah, yeah. It is a game that we've quit because, or that we're planning on quitting, because because uh, we haven't quit it yet. No, I love um, that we just we've just checked out. Yeah, <laughs> we're not but it's, properly it's, trying. It's anymore. a game that we have quit um, emotionally. Yeah, um, spiritually, but, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, that we're spiritually checked out of, um, because yeah. we understand that it's not necessarily perfect for this format. Yeah. Um, but like, if we have a week where we don't have a game, or if we have like, I feel like we could boot up this so far. Like, I see no reason that we don't. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there are so many games in the world, is the thing. Like, I feel like there is no reason for us to... I think the thing stopping me from want to do, wanting to do that is that, um, yeah, we would boot up this save file, but then we are half an hour away from one puzzle, but yeah, we don't even know yeah. where that puzzle is or which way to go, right? We would just be wandering around going, what were we doing? And then, you know... Hello, this is why I... We have a new person. Oh! Welcome, welcome, Blitz. Howdy, howdy. Yeah, I mean, at that point, I would just boot up like something like Unreal Tournament. Although I uninstalled Unreal Tournament um, in an attempt to save space on um, on the laptop. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, yeah, conserving file space while editing has been. Oh like, yeah. I now yeah. have been in a very different space. Yeah. Because you you have just like a, I mean, you got a newer laptop, I think. Last. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a newer laptop. Earlier this year, even. Yeah. Um, but um, it's just not like the one thing that's not like that that it's not going to measure up to a like desktop PC is going to mm -hmm. be graphics because that's yeah. a big thing. And and so video editing is very yeah. tough on that. It it would the it would it would crash at minimum once every half hour. Oh wow! I was just having to constantly save. Like I would. Edit, control S, edit, control S, edit, control S. Yeah, edit, yeah, control yeah, yeah. <clears throat> And am... so every time it crashed, and it wouldn't wouldn't be like, this is not responding, mm -hmm. it would just be gone. Like, yeah. I'd be editing, and I'm mid-doing something, I'm watching mm -hmm, the file, mm -hmm. I'm playing back a certain thing, yeah. and then I would just have no program running. Uh, you can't see it, gentle viewer, but uh, uh, this uh, desktop PC here, uh, when it would freeze... Yeah, um, and I would be editing all of the audio that we used to do. Yeah, I would be yeah. I would be playing guitar, and the Ooh, whole thing would hard lock. That's right. And um, one of these many um, uh, external hard drives that I have over here um, has just start, started to go to pot because this just froze too many times. So when wow. it was writing to disk, just there has just been too many instances of the computer hard locking 
that, that I think that it's just it started to go a bit wonky, and so I, I need to pull all my data off it and then just you know scrub it basically. Blitz saying in chat they were very interested in this game for a while, but they think this game requires you to complete too much and couldn't com couldn't finish it after a while. Yeah. I think we're having Real a similar later. experience, especially yeah, yeah. as like a streaming game. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, could be very interesting. I think we get a lot out of it. Yeah, this the, uh, so we came across this door, yeah, yeah, and I think it is, I think it is related to the cube that we have, yeah, the mystery, which has different sides to it, and this is a this leads us back to the original oh. area. It's like yeah, a yeah, little little secret door. thing. Yeah, so I've wandered here because, okay, that's what that is. I was like, oh, what's over here? I I should have I should have paid attention so to that's that question what that mark. Door is. Secret. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, if I go back and we go this way. But yeah, All right, but very not, not like we, we've really enjoyed playing this game. Um, yeah, and I think it's got some really interesting elements. I think as well playing this after, yep. um, after we played the Swapper, yeah. which also had some very highly like um, segmented narrative, and then some really like collectible um, rooms, like yeah, mm. yeah collectible puzzle puzzle rooms that. Yeah, don't really feed into the narrative because oh. I think we were doing, we were trying to have discussions about what's going on. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, we would have horrifying moments where we would, you know, start stacking up co corpses like cordwood, yeah. um, which we haven't had in this game. No, that's, I know. That's I think the real disappointment here. Uh, I think we, we haven't. <laughs> we haven't killed enough of ourselves. We murdered ourselves a lot. Yeah. Well, there you go. I, I did that. Now I'm satisfied. I did that for you. Um, Swap is great. You can check out VODs over on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, um, we did the whole... Play through the whole thing. Play through the whole really, game. really, really fun. Um, yeah, discussing the Swapper uh, and, and this and talking about what we did and didn't like and thinking about um, Braid, which we will be playing next, has me realising that what I don't like about these games is you need to collect X to unlock Y. Yeah. I just yeah. just give me puzzle levels. Solve the puzzle and I go to the next one. That's enough for me. I I, I just like puzzles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like yeah. I, yeah, and honestly, I don't even need necessarily an overworld in a series of doors. Mm. Like you could mm. just you could just say, "Okay, you've completed this puzzle. Here's where the next puzzle is." Yeah. Rather than being like you've got to march through the worlds to find I don't really find that um wayfinding component in Fez particularly compelling. Like, knowing where the next door is doesn't feel like an achievement. It feels like a grind to get to the next puzzle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel that for sure. Yeah. Um, so I guess we went there last time. Which is yeah. the way to go. There's only one way through? Oh. This one I spent a while on. Oh, Jesus. Was it like this before? I don't think this room was like this before... So little discreet jumperino, love it. But there's a uh, there's goodies over here. I saw the I saw the line, so I can't make that jump, but I can make this one. Yeah, braid's gonna be fun. Um, oh yeah. Oh, I should I... not have. <laughs> <laughs> um, braid. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Just cube. Straight yep. up cube. Um, yeah. I um, as we were saying a bit Many earlier. Um, yeah, I haven't played braid before, Cheap. apart from the first couple of the levels. And you've played through all of it but a while ago. Yeah, so we met... We met... Nine... A little later. Ten... Eleven? I think eleven. Okay, so I played Braid like eleven. nine... Eight, nine years ago. Yeah. Thereabouts. On a... Um, what I called the crap top. <laughs> um, yeah. Which was a, good, you know... Good. It was fine. It did eleven. Talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the original place that I met you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Without doxing your former address, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how much that would actually be a doxing, but I'm oh. still not going to do it. So this is another one of those little secret doors. But I can open this one. I think you could open the previous one. Oh, you? I could? Yeah, but it didn't lead to here. That's fun. Oh, there's yeah, lots there's... of cubes here, apparently. It's fucking Cubeville. Oh, sorry, there's some cubes here, I should say, because we found out that um, it doesn't actually mean there are four cubes. Yeah. Uh, four bits, rather. Just means incomplete. You yeah. have not got all the, the goodies. That's cute, though. I like the little tuning fork that it's on top of. Oh, that, oh, was, a... that, was, a, that was an interactive. I wonder what this is. Oh. Well, um, that's not for us to find out. Ascend! 
<laughs> then we can fall and do like the Thor's hammer into that the ground would, like a Marvel pretty, hero. That would be pretty sweet, yeah. Oh, a rat! Um, hey! Let's chat to the rat. Hey, rat friend. Can we chat with B? Or is it X? I can't remember. What we can do is give the rat anxiety because we give it nowhere to go. Because it has to run away. Yep. Well, let's I'm sorry, stop B. giving the rat anxiety. <laughs> I'm sorry, because, Beast. Because I'm relating to that rat too much. That's fair. Um, cool. Well, that's pretty much Fez, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Are we going to yeah. find any, Basically. Oh, anywhere prob probably else not. to Let go? Have any, um, no, look, let's... Um, if we... Oh, there's a secret. Mm. <sighs> of course there is. No, but it's got to be that tuning fork, right? Well, there's a small gate on this. Oh, no, that's no, on the that's, other level. Yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, I, I, I'm glad that... So, um, interestingly... Yeah. We kept being recommended the sewer by the gate. And I wonder if that's because this is where the most content is. When you go to one of the big gates, what it wants to do is throw you towards an area that... I wonder if that's the case. I thought it was simply that those were the places we'd travelled from, like, travelled between. So... Mm. If we've travelled to a warp gate from another warp gate, we can travel back there through the... But I was I, I got to the sewer by using the warp gate, because it kept being like, here's the sewer, and I'm like, okay, I guess we'll go to the sewer. Yeah, so... but Blitz pointing out very similar stuff to what we were saying, basically, mm. that, that, that it requires you to actually backtrack rather than walk back, warp backtrack. I'm very fine yeah. with, you know, fast travel stuff but, yep. the, but the warp gate system feels oh, yeah. clunky yeah it's not um, it's not the best um, it's not good for like with the swapper we yeah we had to backtrack to different puzzle rooms but we never had difficulty finding the puzzle rooms that we had yeah. to solve the puzzle we had difficulty solving the puzzles mm -hmm. but even when we had to backtrack wire right across the map it gave us all those teleporters it gave us all yeah. that it worked um, hard to give us what we needed right right um yeah which is not to say that this is, you know, I, I think that in terms of the puzzles, I've possibly enjoyed this more than the okay, Swapper. Okay, interesting. Um, I mean, the Swapper had a lot of puzzles that were very... Well, the Swapper had capital P puzzles. Yeah, Fuck I think... You. I think... You, you have to solve this. I think this has been a very... Maybe it's just that this is a more gentle incline. Yeah. But I've found that... The puzzle yeah. is how you get through the space not how do you solve this puzzle to get a thing like you had a room dedicated to exclusively that and this has had rooms dedicated to you have to solve the way to get through the space to get the cube but it hasn't felt as hard locked like that i think that the the difficulty of the of the swapper yeah. for me was often i could envisage what we needed to do to get to the end of the room mm -hmm. and then i couldn't physically pull it off yeah Whereas this, uh, all of the physical thing, apart from maybe jumping between a couple of the rotating platforms that you were doing earlier, yep. and I had trouble with those as well. Um, but apart from that, I felt that the majority of the difficulty is actually figuring out, oh, I have to get from here to here to here. How am I going to make those jumps and, and, and make those series of movements? Yeah. Um, and that was the challenge, um, which I've liked more. I don't know. I, I don't know. We've also played some... We've been very lucky. We've played some very, very good games. It's... it's yeah. You know, I, I, I'm hardly going to criticise Fez too, too heavily, and I, I do like the idea of, you know, going off and playing it in my own time sort of thing. I think these empty screens are other gates we haven't got yet. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, God, that looks like the... It's just missing the other part of the arch, right? Yeah. It's just off. That's the problem with all these arches. They're most of an arch, but they're not most of the arts that we need. They're not the exact shape we're after. Mm. Alright, so we did... I think... It looks pretty good. You know, it's a bit it's a bit haphazard, but, you know, welcome to streaming. Look, I, I'm very happy with this for, for a stream, like, run-through of a bunch of fez. I don't think anyone can say that we've, you know, dipped a toe into yep. fez, and now we're making a call. Well, we can, but we can tell them that we oh, disagree. Oh, yeah, that, they, they can say that, but, but yeah. they, they would be wrong. Yeah, so. well, that's fine. I also really like the um, motion sickness. Thank you. Um, yeah, no worries. I, I also really like the um, yeah the decision tree, like layout sort of thing, that like the cuboid kind of setup. Yeah, it's good. It's a it's a very pretty game. Beautiful yeah, game. Yeah. Um, and we won't see how it ends here, but we encourage uh, those of you uh, with an internet connection. Um, hello, this is the internet. Uh, you are welcome, to, as opposed to those of us watching this on, you know, 
via telegram. Yeah, yeah. Getting on the, sent individual slides. Watching this on the picture wireless. Um, I went on holidays and I saw <laughs> a Twitch stream. Um, yeah, uh, I'm sure there are people out there who have played this. I'm sure there are people watching this who have played it and are like, no, they didn't get to the end. That's correct. Uh, we didn't and we won't. Um, but that's fine. You know, I have... On, on this stream, and like I've seen many streams where people don't finish games. It's not exactly a requirement of streaming. I think a justification is good, like telling the audience why you've stopped and why you're picking something else. I think else. we've done that. Yeah, and I think um, we have. Yeah. So, okay. So, saying we have good reasons for stopping this because it's not necessarily... Um, what we want to be streaming because it's going to be a lot of us banging our heads against the wall for entire sessions. Yeah. If we were to take that and then go, okay, let's treat what we had as an experience of like most of a game mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and obviously excluding information we don't have, mm -hmm. what did you think of Fez, the two thirds of a game we played? Ooh, I give it... Um, I'm trying to think the ridiculous language that was used. Um... I give it, I don't know, poly out of Decker gons. <laughs> I don't remember the, the numbering that the swapper used for its ridiculous spheroids. They, yeah, they had, um, like, onagons and nonagons yeah. and trigon, trigon spheres. That's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I would give it try out of... Gon spheres? I don't, I don't know. Um, no, I, 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 I've, I've really enjoyed it because it... I think one of the best things that it did was pace new, not even new mechanics, just new ways of using the existing core mechanic. New things to introduce. Because a platform that moves constantly mm. in space is a given in platforming games, typically. It's yeah. either like a lift of some kind, or it's something that rotates so it kicks you off. And this had that, but it was like, okay, what is a, what is a rotating block like? What is a moving block like in a world where you can shift the dimensional plane um, with the click, and indeed have to, um, to solve to solve a puzzle and solve the world. So every you know every stream we've had of this game, we've been like, oh shit, a new mechanic, oh shit, a new thing. But they are all interpretations of the same mechanic, which yeah. makes it very easy to learn. Yeah, yeah. I think um, that that's the really cool thing about it is mm. that having like the, the the way the mechanics iterate is all based on. Um, this one idea of rotating a level, but then you have different things like you rotate when you rotate the level, you're also rotating a pylon or you're rotating, you know, a nut up a, um, yeah. up, up a screw. And those are different ways of interacting with it that, that still rely on the same controls. Yeah. So it's, it's very cleverly designed. Um, I really liked that about oh, it. I, like I think, yeah, I like, I mean, I, I definitely think fast travel and that sort of stuff are the things that would have made it a better streaming game and would have helped us to persist with it well, I mean, you know, to, to take, um, you know, Blitz's point, I think it might have just made it a better game. Just quality of life improvements, right? Well, potentially, it, potentially. It wouldn't have... I don't think it would have detracted from what the game does well. Yeah. It would not have detracted from the experience to have selectable warp gates, right? Yeah, I, I mean, when, when this game was first being pitched mm -hmm. but like i remember being told there was going to be backtracking and yep. that there was going to be like that sort of stuff and because we'd come from the swapper i was like oh how do we feel yeah, about that yeah um but um i don't think this is a game about backtracking i think it's yep. a game that has backtracking and it doesn't necessarily serve it super well it... i think i think okay sorry let me explain yeah what i mean by that i mean it has backtracking and then it has um level replaying with different rules and mechanics and stuff mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is that it's the bit that's backtracking that i don't like i i really like when you replay a level and it's got like the black holes and it's suddenly harder to play yeah i think that's good yeah and that's, I think that's a good amount of replayability well and, and that's that's what i was uh, about to bring up um is that that is kind of the backtracking mechanic but it's not okay. it's not great right like because backtracking means you go back through a space and now they've changed it except um you know, we turn up to a space, it's got some black holes and that's interesting, but that's only been in a few key spaces, which could just be mandatory spaces in backtracking if they'd had warp gates. But I think that a game like this, especially, that is introducing new interpretations of mechanics very frequently, mm -hmm. should reward trying things. Yeah, yeah. And so when we walk through a door, mm -hmm. and we're exploring a new space, and we find our way through it, and then we go, oh, we're at a warp gate, mm -hmm. Um, 
like maybe what it's teaching us is don't go through the warp gate yet. Go back through the bit you just were in before you warp. I guess that's I guess that's what we're supposed to learn. Oh, I see. Is just go back and do that sort of thing. Like f- but, full scrub the area so that you yeah, don't have yeah, to yeah. return. But that's yeah. not, that that isn't rewarding what I would see as curiosity, which is basically yeah. go to the new area, keep doing the new thing, keep pushing forwards, and it's fine, you'll always be able to go back and yeah. pick things up. Like, this feels like... Um, it's not quite having permadeath in the game, mm. <laughs> but it is a, an element of irreversibility, right? Like, where... like, Or at least, like, not you easy. go through a gate, yeah. and then you... Like, you can't go back to the gate you came from is immediately, like... Oh shit! Well, now I have to go right back to the start of that section and play through the whole thing again if I want to get there. It's it's a misuse that, that of was... the term warp gate. You assume, based on <laughs> game literacy, yeah. that you should be able to teleport back with some ease. And the mercurial nature of this mechanic, um, mm. or comparative, like it's it's yeah, it's not. I it's really, not great. in terms of the narrative of the game, I found it really mm. interesting. Um, I actually found it really a, a lot of the plot of the game that I liked more was not the villagers talking at the start. Yeah. It was the, like, non-language language mm, that we mm. caught kind of towards, like, throughout this session. Um, and I would have really liked to see where that goes. I think that's yeah. the thing I'm most curious about with the game, that I'm most, like... That's the thing I feel saddest about walking away from, that yeah. I won't necessarily get what that is. Although maybe that's not a thing that is... Ex- like explained it's true i mean and there is as, as um so uh when i update the information about the stream before i go live uh i type in the game fez and yeah. search and select so that twitch knows that we're playing fez for multiple reasons oh. uh, one of which this is associated with affiliates if that game if if you know the people who make that game are in contact with twitch in some way and that game is like on special or something a link might pop up while streaming and if people click that link and buy the game i get a portion of that if they click through from here yeah, yeah. Um, I don't see that happening because these games are quite old. But um, <laughs> Fez 2 is something that pops up whenever I search Fez. So there is some exploration, perhaps, of the world in that they return to it. Yeah. Or right. at least return to the core ideas. So, I mean, maybe we play that later. I have no idea. Um, in terms... Yeah. Well, I mean, if, if an ad to Fez did come up below this, I mean, I don't expect it will, but if yep. it did, um, would you recommend... Fez to people? Would you reckon? Oh yeah, I, I, you have to play Fez. I think if you like platformers, I think you should play Fez. And I think I, I can make this recommendation within the context of this game being older and therefore inexpensive. So it is not okay. In terms of reward, you get to pay a little bit of money and you get some very cool mechanics. In terms of that interaction, yeah. that that is I think a rewarding thing. If what you want is to full complete a game. <clears throat> maybe don't stream it or stream it all in you know like over a weekend yeah. like make it make it big I, prolonged sessions i think this game is absolutely a game to play mm-hmm. um like it the feel of playing it is very different to the feel of watching it yeah. um as well mm-hmm. like there there is something about that you know that that twitch sense that, that yep. haptic feedback all of that you know ah i'm mm-hmm. playing a game mm-hmm. stuff that is really cool and hard to express that is yep. good about Fez. Mm-hmm. Um, and I yeah. look forward to seeing whether Braid does that again, because I enjoyed that. I think I remember that being good about Braid, and then I just had to walk away from it for whatever reason. Yeah. Um, I mean, Braid doesn't have the, you know, as far as I remember, there's no um, uh, wealth pellets that we need to, like, accrue no, uh, no. over the course of a world. I it's think something about uh, puzzle pieces, isn't it? Yes. Um, we'll but it's like, he, here's a room, you get your puzzle piece. And you're doing that to like it, it, I guess it does it's more like the flag at the end of a Mario level. Yeah, that's that's I think the and it's possible you can retry things, but it is from an overworld that is forgiving, as opposed to this. Right. Where getting to puzzles is part of navigating the world because and that's one of the charming things about this game, is the puzzles are integrated into the world. Instead mm. of like puzzle rooms in, you know, portal slash um, you know, the swapper, etc. etc. And this is interesting. I feel like we're gonna build up a storehouse of language around these games the things we like the things we don't like the things we're like oh this is turned up again because i've mm-hmm. seen um you know streams that are based on certain kinds of games and where that can get frustrating from a viewer perspective is when the streamers get hung up on something that they see all the time but as a player i'm not sick of and don't mind yeah so they see this thing and immediately get up in arms about it and i'm like oh but i don't i don't mind oh, yeah, these I, things in games i think we are um humble enough to acknowledge that some of these things are things we like, and mm. some of them are not things we like. Yeah. And that is um, 
a quality of us and not games inherently. Like, yeah, games yeah. are not inherently bad or good because they have the things we like or dislike. Yeah, um, yeah. But it's we real. can certainly judge whether things make good streaming content. Yeah. Um, hashtag content. Um, and uh, we can certainly say whether we enjoyed them. Mm. Um, and I've really enjoyed Fez. And yeah. I hope to play it another time. But until then, we're going to be working on working our way through Braid. Yeah, yeah. We'll give we'll give Braid a, a hot go. Yeah. Um, yeah, and there's a few other games I've got lined up in a similar... Like we were talking about Papers, Please at one point. But there's yeah, a few games that we... Yeah, for Papers, Please. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> as, as one of the games that I've played and you haven't. Yeah. It's, it's a... It's well, you, a you get to subject me to it, which oh, is going to so be... Oh, I'm so keen. Yeah, yeah. I'm so keen. Well, that's, and that's speaking, coming. That's coming speaking well. of keen, Commander Keen, um, that's going to turn <laughs> up at some point. <laughs> Pajama Sam. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Well, uh, thank you once again, everybody, for joining us. Um, I believe today was some kind of public holiday here in... South Australia, if not Australia, Labor proper. Day. Labor Day, cool. Um, unions, they're good. Yeah, they're unions very good. Are good. Yeah, um, they're the best. Yeah, I um, have a thing to promo. Hell, yes. do I have a thing to promo. Um, Just to take it away. Over to uh, YouTube.com. We do not have. Uh, it's not just forward slash Neptune today no, yet because yeah. you have to have a channel for a while and be yeah, yeah. super accredited. But uh, if you search for Neptune today, Terrible Lizards mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. is the name of the series that I have put together, mm -hmm. um, which is a five part deep dive into mixed lollies um, and is quite fun. Um, if I do say so myself, um, it's uh, yeah, uh, just enjoy it. Um, it's really good. I, it's good watching. Yeah, well, um, if nothing else, I spent a bloody long time on it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I want the total amount of time spent watching it to be longer than the amount of spent time <laughs> I put into it. Yeah. So that at the very least, it, it is a profit. It's a net profit. Yeah, it's a it's a net temporal profit in terms of yeah. rippling out into the world. So if you enjoy it, it's a bonus. But really, I'm just looking for a, a pure yeah. profit loss <laughs> margin. Yeah, but not in, but not in a fi but not in a fiscal way, no. not in a way that delivers cash into these pockets. Oh, absolutely not! No, no, yeah. no! Nobody's getting cash here. No. Nobody's getting paid. No, this is a huge. I mean, I, I'm, a a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm affiliate, so I might get a, a, a drop of money, a scare, yeah. a crisp hundo, um, from fucking Bezos himself. Well, I mean, and subscribe to this yes channel. Um, and where yeah. we are. Chuck us a like, chuck us a subscribe. Um, Craft, if you're on Twitch, uh, Crafty has posted the link in chat to uh, Justin's YouTube and content. And it will be down below the video, or yes, it is yes. tiny.cc slash terrible lizards. I should have that link for a while. I don't know how long those take to expire, but it'll, it's a thing for now. I mean, I, I've used tiny URL a whole bunch of times, and they've been pretty consistent for a long time. Well, but I, but I haven't checked back years later, so... Look, there'll be a link down below, and it won't be your fancy one. I'll just put the... Oh, I can put the fancy one. Yeah. I could just put them. Or well, if we figure out how to do it, there'll be a link there. By this point in the video, there's my own end of video cards. So where you're pointing is just empty air because, like, in the middle we'll have. So here's like, like my my logo, Click that. and then there's like playlist. This is Hang horrible on. on Twitch. This is this is the worst. Yeah, I'm just miming at nothing. Um, go to bed, people, or not. Maybe you're watching this in the morning. I don't know. Sometimes people do that. Um, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Yes, this has um, been a, a great pleasure. We love you um, deeply. Welcome new and old, and uh, we yeah. look forward to seeing you next, next Monday. Next Monday. Next Monday. Braid. Be here. Uh, it's going to be a good time. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>